Hey everyone and welcome to Tiny Bookshop. Welcome to Cozy Quest as well. Hey everyone and welcome to Tiny Bookshop which I am going to be showcasing you today as part of Cozy Quests running from the 16th to the 20th of November. Hey everyone and welcome to Tiny Bookshop. Hey everyone and welcome to Tiny Bookshop, a game that I'm going to be showcasing for you today as part of Cozy Quest running from the 16th to the 20th of November where we're making it our mission to show you the coziest, comfiest games around on Steam. So this is Tiny Bookshop where we are going to open our own Tiny Bookshop by the sea. So as you can see it's a very portable one um, and yeah it's looking very very cute and very very adorable so i want to see what this is all about it is made by the amazing neoludic games and published by skystone games so go check them out and go check out tiny bookshop put it on your wish list if it seems like your kind of thing and let's jump into it so right we have to add books to our shelves these are the books we're going to be selling we've got crime which i'm sure is going to be very popular Drama, fact, fantasy, classic, kids, and travel. I love the music. A nice relaxing music in the menu and then a different kind of vibe. Relaxing music in this menu. Like this one's a bit more upbeat. <laughs> it's got, got me moving. Uh, so let's add some crime because I'm sure crime is going to be quite popular. I'll put four crime. Let's try next to crime. What shall we put? I'm going to put fact next to crime. <laughs> Is that in itself a crime? Maybe. And then put fantasy next to classic. I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. Shall I? I'm going to get rid of classic and I'm going to put kids. Two, three. Four, and then classic next to oh, I've done this all wrong haven't I next to uh, next to travel interesting way I'm putting these <laughs> I feel like I put all of these in the wrong order right oh that is really satisfying you can get rid of them all in one right click I love that what if we just get away with doing that and then Fantasy, which I'm sure is going to sell very well. Kids. And classic. And then I'm going to be really horrible and just put a little, a few books here and there of of the others. <laughs> Am I horrible? There's still drama. There's still drama. Oh, the drama. Okay. Shall I do that and then have no travel books? I might do. <laughs> I'm not sure. Okay, no. Let's get rid of one of those. One of those. And have travel. I've got rid of the wrong ones. All right, one of those, one of those. There. And then one more crime. One more classic. I'm pretty happy with that. It's 40 out of 40. So I've got 40 books. Sale chance, three out of six, three out of six, three out of six. I think for all of them at the moment, it's gonna be three out of six because it's new, new game. So to the waterfront to start our tiny bookshop. Monday, summer first. I love the art style of this as well. Very, very nice. Gonna open the windows. Oh, I love this, I love this. Oh, we're open, we're open for business. We've got people coming in already. I like it. <laughs> Hello, welcome to my tiny bookshop. Enjoy. What? Oh, hey there, old mate. Remember me? <gasps> Klaus, of course I remember you. How could I forget? <laughs> it's Klaus. Good to see you again. Yeah. Yeah. So what are you up to these days? Making new friends, binging true crime. <laughs> That's a bit on the nose. Caring for plants. <laughs> Binging ah. true crime, to be honest. Wicked. True crime is all the rage these days, ain't it? <laughs> Very true. True crime fan. Slight boost to crime sale chance. Interesting. Slight boost to fact sale chance. 
Look at those skills. I hope they mean the way I've placed my yeah. books. I also have some big news. Remember my dream of selling up a killer concert? Setting up a killer concert. Hey. It's finally happening this week. Can you believe it? Yep. We could really use some help promoting the show. Ah. You don't mind if I put up a poster in your bookshop, right? I don't know. Do we want that? Do we want this kind of thing? Um, are we interested? We, you can go ahead. But I don't know if that means everybody else is also going to want to do that now. Help advertise Klaus's upcoming concert. Damn, fits right in. Hey. Thanks a bunch, mate. So stoked for the concert. Hey, hey. Find me at the supermarket if you want to hang out before then. Later. Bye, Klaus. So lovely to see you again. <laughs> Bought a fact book. I wonder how many people can fit in here at once. <gasps> buy. Please buy. Buy from me. Classic book and a travel book. <gasps> people are interested in the travel. Oh no, not very many travel books available. I suppose down by the sea it makes sense, right? Come on, another travel. Oh no. <laughs> another travel. Am I ever run out of travel now? I don't know. <gasps> I didn't put very many travel down, I don't think. Another travel. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> travel sale chance, one out of six. <laughs> oh, another fact. Oh, oh my, what a lovely bookshop and on wheels, no less. Thank you. Nice to meet you. I'm, how do you say that? Tilled? It's nice. I used to sell books in town back in the day. I heard you could use some advice from a veteran like me. No, says who? I'm not going to be rude. I don't know who told you I could do with some advice, but I'm sure we could do with some advice. I'm not going to say no. Ha, happy to help. For a start, people wear their tastes on their sleeves around here, quite literally. So even though it might seem strange, you can find out people's preferences quite easily if you pay attention. And don't forget that more books means a higher chance of everyone finding what they're looking for. Take care now, and don't worry, I'll keep my eye on you. Okay, in a, in a good way that you will keep your eye on me? Hmm? Right. I probably have enough books anyhow. No, were they trying to try buy a book that I've run out of? We've got a classic. If only I could grab that book. I'm so sorry. I think people were interested in travel. <gasps> Thank you. Thank you for your purchases, everybody. I appreciate it. True crime fam, slight boost to true crime. Yeah, cool. It's like boost to custom account because it's sunny. We're closing up for the day. Yeah, let's go. Oh, we can decorate. Okay, a bookshelf, a skull. Pretty sure it's made of plastic. While equipped, there's a slight boost to crime sale chance. Slight debuff to kids sale. Interesting. Right. What do we want to do with it? Folding table, book sign, a sign that says books. While equipped, notable. Hmm. I'm going to have to put the table out and put the skull on it yeah nice plus one okay daily expenses i'd like a book sign should we have the book sign there how cute i love it oh we can change the color of things <gasps> can i actually change the color of, of the whole wagon you're kidding me Pink is my favorite color ever, so I'm gonna go for that. And then, yeah, the mint green is very nice. Maybe we'll go for the mint. The book is gray, which I think is what it was originally. Hmm, I'm quite happy with that. Can I change the color of the table? I can. Can I have a pink table? Oh, <gasps> can I just make everything pink? Oh, I love that. Oh, this is so good. <laughs> Can I change the color of the skull? No. Okay, I can change the roof. What color do we want the roof? I'll make the gray kind of the roof. There you go, very nice. Classifieds. Check the classified section for used books and items and click to buy. Heart pounding mysteries, unsettling and unnerving. Second hand books, dusty but good. Mysterious attic find, fairy lights. And a supermarket stand. Ooh, fairy lights. Ooh. 
Buxtonbury Review. Tiny Bookshop rolls into Buxtonbury. Of course it's called Buxtonbury, that's so cute. Buxtonbury newcomer turns new page, impresses locals with mobile bookshop. Have you ever dreamt of leaving everything behind and starting a humble business abroad? That's precisely what this tiny bookshop operator has done. Choosing our very own Buxtonbury is their latest destination. Locals in the market for books should not tarry. There is no saying how long the tiny bookshop will grace our humble coast before rolling onward. Hmm, oh there's an open, Friday there's an open mic night. How cute. Right, um, secondhand books, heart pound and mysteries. I don't know. Hmm. Let's get the secondhand books. Love secondhand books, me. <laughs> That's where I get a lot of mine from, to be honest. Um. Yeah, I don't have enough now. We can get some serious attic finds. Nice. And dusty but good. Inherited from my grandparents. How very sweet. Okay. We're ready. The waterfront square. So this is going to be parking up today. Um, There is gaps. So I want travel I have not put these in any kind of aesthetic order I'm so sorry travel seemed quite popular I'm not sure I saw anybody get drama so I will have that I haven't got this very even at all have I hmm let's put all the green ones down here And then the blue for travel. And grey for fact. There you go. That's nice. I think that's that's kind of good, right? Seven four six four seven four eight. <laughs> Maybe I've got too much travel now. It's fine. It's got the sum here, the sum there. I'm sure I'm annoying a lot of people with that, but we're fine it's all good it's all good right waterfront tuesday summer second click and drag the screen to explore locations Ooh. oh there's a dog there's a puppy i love that oh can i have a look through here who knows what you may find <gasps> let's have a look see very nice lighthouse situation going on <gasps> The lighthouse, the Slenny Tower lights the way along Bookstrimbury Coast. I love that you can pet the dog. 10 out of 10 game. <laughs> I love that. I love that a lot. Hello. How are you? Can you birdie? What's this? A boy. Boy, oh boy. Well equipped. Tiny boost to travel sale chance. Hmm. Okay. Okay. That's good. That's good. Hmm. Okay. Let's open for the day. Ready. <laughs> I have like no money. <laughs> I need people to come and buy my books, please. Thank you, sir. Very kind of you. Come on in. Come on in. You're very well. Come on in. Oh, we've got a jogger. Couldn't be me. Oh, oh, they're coming in. They're coming into the bookshop. Travel's probably going to be popular again. We've got a classic as well. The Great Gatsby. Wasn't that movie a flop? It wasn't, was it? Isn't that movie meant to be, like, brilliant? Well, I think it's it's aged better. Like, oh, you just made my day. I didn't find that one travel book. I'm so sorry. The Great Gatsby. Everybody loves it now, don't they? Classic. Back. Oh, we've got quite a few people are buying quite a few books. Goodness me, I think classic and travel have been extremely popular. Note to self, probably more classic. Maybe not kids. Oh, can't reach it. I'm so sorry. I need to be better with where I put the books on the shelves, probably. Like different varieties of each on, on every shelf so that people can reach them. I don't like that placement, personally. But, um... 
because if I went into a bookshop and they were all like quite, you know, if there's one of each on every shelf, <sighs> that would stress me. But also, it's kind of good <laughs> because it means that everybody can reach everything. Hello again, dear. Good to see you're still at it. Let me just adjust this. Real. Okay. Hmm. Since I have a lot of friends around here, I thought I'd help you out a little. Hmm. Seeing as you're so mobile, you should set up in a variety of spots. Um, I don't know. I kind of want happy with the waterfront right now. It has a stunning view. I'll give you that. But trust me, it's always better to have options. <laughs> You know my friend, oh, the wink, did you see the wink? You know my friend Mary runs a beautiful cafe in the inner city and she said you're welcome to set up shop outside the Cafe Liberté. So free for, feel free to roll up there one morning and if you're lucky, Mary might introduce herself. In my experience, folks there like reading classic and crime books, same as me. You should get back to it. Bye bye. Okay, we should go there. Classic and crime. Good, because they're two of my favourites to like sell. Thank you. I'll leave you to it. Bye, dearie. Bye bye. While in shops, like boost to classic and crime. Special character. Nice. Thank you, everybody. Appreciate you greatly. Right. We got some money. We got quite a bit of money. Okay, nice. Bookstonbury review. Mere days after their arrival on the scene, the mobile seller has Bookstonbury's literature lovers buzzing about books. But what makes for a pleasant browsing experience? According to Tilde, former bookstore owner, the secret lies in selection. The more books match a customer's tastes, the higher the chances they will find what they are looking for. Ah, uh, so somebody couldn't find a travel book that they wanted because there wasn't enough travel? I think I had more travel than anything else out got open mic night on friday classes concert on sunday nice Ooh, barley on a budget that looks nice moira's travel log right a dog bed our oh, rusty outgrew this so we're looking to pass it on let's let's take the dog bed why not um heart pounding mysteries paranormal used books everything must go uh, I've run just shy for enough of the Hot Panda Mysteries because I bought the dog bed. Um, let's go for... Can't afford anything. Because I bought the dog bed. It's all 30, 25, 50. We only have 24. Oh, I haven't managed to buy much today. Let's customise. I got some new bits. Maybe a stray fur, fur, furry friend would appreciate this. Yeah, let's have a dog bed out. And the buoy, buoy, buoy. Oh, I can hang it. Nice. Very nice. I like these little decorations. Oh, you can put stuff inside as well. Love it. Right, where shall we go today? Let's try Cafe Liberté. Right. Do, 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 do. I think it was crime and classic is popular here. I was like, what's that? It's the table behind. Right, let's have crime, 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 crime. Um, I don't know. This is the three. Okay, okay, two, two crime on each. Oops. There we go. Classic. Oops. Nice. Um. Actually, we could... I'm going to be really annoying and place them like this. And that's going to get on a lot of people's nerves. But they did say there'd be an improvement on classic and crime sales here didn't they so then let's go for travel oops but a classic travel watch somebody want a kid's book now that i've done this there's a lot of genres i haven't done today let's see how this goes oh this is so beautiful I love it. I love the destination here. What a nice cafe. 
jealous of the person that owns this. Jeez. All right, I've got no kids books, no fantasy books, no fact and no drama, which might cause some drama with some of the customers. <laughs> Let's see how it goes. Oh, drama. Can I have a look around while they're doing that? Not a great selection. Oh no, oh no. They were looking for something else. Classic. Ooh, storage crate and all books that snugly carries a few extra books. Well equipped plus four daily expenses. Been looking for Manon Lascaux. No idea who that is, but I'm glad you found them. Doo -doo. Doo -doo. Give me two seconds. My boss will be interested in this. Interesting. Gosh, a lot of books. <laughs> I'll recommend you to my colleagues. Thank you. Look how much money we've made. Mariam, you must be that book person Tilda's told me about. Your selection of classic books is quite impressive. Our customers will be happy. And I see you have an eye for true crime. I am a fan as well, you know. I'm Mariam, the owner. It was only a matter of time until you landed at the Liberté. Who can resist the allure? You can almost taste the history in each delicious ship, um, sip. Allure. That's right, you might not know the significance of this place. Through the eras, the Liberté has hosted the greats. From writers to revolutionaries, they all met right here. Hmm. Listen, if you want to talk some more, let's have coffee this evening after work. Do I have anything on today? I don't know. Yeah. Sounds lovely. Most excellent. Right, I don't think it's today. Cool. It's Wednesday. <gasps> it's Wednesday, my people. I wonder if there's anything else we can grab. There's lots of them. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm waiting for a dog to come and use the dog bed. Cafe Liberté. Anything else I can grab? And I also don't want to miss what people are saying. Look how much money we've got now. Gosh, I feel like I need to come here way more often. <laughs> Thank you. Great second hand finds. I did that the other day. I went into a bookstore and I found four books that I really, really, really desperately wanted. Second hand. They were like literally two pound each. Really, really, really good quality books as well. And they're quite new, the books that I wanted. Are we going out for tea? Hmm. Hello. Hello again. Thank you for meeting with me after work. Hmm. It'll be nice to get to know each other a little. Hmm. So tell me, how is everything with your bookshop? I'm having a lot of fun. Good, good. It is important to enjoy what you do for a living. <laughs> me? Cafe's what keeps me going. I love it here. Hmm. Personally, I look forward to small talk with the patrons. Hmm. I hope you also... Is that, uh, there's that their way of trying to get me to go in and buy something. Uh, you also got to learn the love to love this aspect of working with the public. I will, I will. Can hmm. I drink my coffee? I've got a croissant as well. Listen, I wasn't completely honest with my intentions for this meeting. Aww. The Liberté has been the only cafe in town for quite some time now. Aww. And lacking any alternative, I fear my clientele has forgotten how outstanding our coffee truly is. But if it's the only cafe, surely that's where everybody would flock to. Coffee machine should keep you awake for most of the day. Or maybe just one more cup. I mean, same... Plus one per book sold, well equipped, plus one daily expenses. Okay, I would love a coffee machine, thank you. Hmm. I found the perfect little coffee machine for your bookshop, it's yours. Thanks, I think. What's the catch? While I have my own agenda, I think coffee could help your business well. Your customers can buy a cup to go. And the next time they visit the Liberté, they will surely remark our signature taste. Hmm. A sure decision, of course. Oh, thanks. Whether to take part in this arrangement? Hmm. Very well. It's been fun to share a little more time together. Bye-bye for now. Wow. Okay. At least we get a coffee machine out of it. I'm not going to complain. Um, is there any other bits we can grab? It's a bin. Anything up there? Is it birdies? Oh. Hey, birdies. Ooh. Oh, I, I, I am. I'm poking the feathers out of the bird, I think. <gasps> Oops. Can I go into Cafe Liberté? I would love to. 
Nah, I want to try their coffee. Right. Let's pack up and go. Thank you, Mariam. City Awards owner with touching tribute. A family-owned coffee shop has thanked customers and staff in a small anniversary celebration this week. Cafe Liberté, a mainstay of our town centre, has been serving the city for 200 years since its foundation in the early 1800s. It quickly became one of the city's most iconic spots, drawing in cre uh, creatives and revolutionaries alike. Attending city officials and prominent townsfolk comment... <laughs> and prominent townsfolk commended owner Mariam Wright for her efforts in preserving Buxtonbury's history with touching speeches as well as a newly unveiled golden plaque. Top 10 relaxation spots in the Buxton Bay you won't believe number 7. I want to read. <laughs> I want to read 200 years. My gosh. Seasonal fairy lights. I I bought some fairy lights before, right? I don't know where they went though. Or did I not actually buy them? Did I not have enough money? I don't think I did. A cozy decoration to light up your shop. Nice. So now we have enough. A second hand dramas. Um all with at least seven hundred pages. Hop handling mysteries. Give, 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 give. Forty nine cram books. And let's grab some fantasy. I got no money again now. Oh wait, the supermarket stands. Oh, I'll have to get that next time. Um, let's decorate because I have fairy lights. Can I put the fairy lights inside? Doesn't look like it. Okay. Um, fairy lights. Where can I hang the fairy lights? I have no idea. The coffee machine? I, the coffee machine must go inside. Sure, I can just put it on the floor if I want to. Um, it must go inside. Have a coffee machine there. Storage crate snugly fits a few extra books. And yeah, I don't know where you hang the fairy lights. I'm not sure. Hmm. Oh. Oh, there you go. That's where you put the fairy lights. Nice. Is there a way? I oh, know. I only have the one lot anyway. Pretty. Look at our bookstore. Look how it's shaping up. Can I change the color of the dog bed? <gasps> I could change the color of the dog bed. Okay. I kind of like the brown though. I'm not going to lie. We could have pink or mint or something. Pink dog's bed. <laughs> Hazelnut's nice. Um, I'm not sure. Look as grey. Let's, 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 go, let's go for that for the dog bed. Nice little accent. I would like to go back to Cafe Liberté today. Right, get rid of all of these. So crime. A lot of crime. People did say I didn't have a big enough selection, didn't they? These ones are quite big books. So I'll probably leave that like that. Oh, no more classic. Oh, no more classic. Why didn't I buy more classic? Oh no, <laughs> drama because I have no classic books. That is gonna cause some drama. I have some there, fact books. Oops. Oops, that one was green for drama. A travel, let's fill out the travel a little bit. And just like one fantasy book. There we go. There. I do not like the order I've put them in. I'm sorry, but... Oh, you can fit extra books. I forgot. Kids. Nice. Is there anything I have none of? No. I don't like the placement. But I think I've done quite well there. Do, 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 do. We have the coffee machine now. 
Let's see if anybody wants to use the coffee machine. This person outside at Cafe Liberté eyeing up our bookstore. What would happen if they preferred the coffee here? At my place. I'm trying to see if there's anything else we can pick up. Click, click, click. I wonder who's Fern, who he's waiting for. Disappointing on so many levels. What do you mean disappointing? Daisy Darker, a lot better than the movie. Why disappointing? We have every genre of book out. What more could you want? The three body problem. That sounds impressive, right? Oh, he just said something about Mariam. Is he spying for her or something? A lot of these being sold. This tiny bookshop, how great. I do love the idea of this. Like a little traveling bookshop like that. It makes me want to go out and do it. Love it. Well, that person who said it was disappointing. You can't please everybody, I guess. Oh, coffee. Let's give everybody coffee. Hello there. I see you have the old coffee machine set up. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for participating in this little business experiment of mine. Hmm. Our customers are buzzing about this upcoming park concert. Have you heard of it? Yes, Klaus is a friend. Really, you know Klaus? <coughs> Excuse me. I find him quite friendly, but his taste in music is questionable. Hmm. Because of him, that's all my granddaughter listens to nowadays. Hmm. She'll be performing alongside Klaus at the concert, you know. Hmm. If only she would pursue an established musical style instead of this noise. Hmm. Though I'm happy she continues playing music in some form. Maybe I should attend after all. Hmm. I'm sure she would love that. Have you seen where the concert will take place over in hmm. Rye Park? You could surely turn a profit selling books there. Hmm. Why not give it a try? I should return to the cafe shortly. Rye Park. People go on a stroll, walk out, or tend to the garden here. People work out here. Working out, really? So many hidden gems. Thank you, thank you very much. Look at this, they're flying off the shelves. I am gonna be out of books. <laughs> in a little in a little while. Wow, I love it here. Thank you so much. Dun, 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 dun. Small coffee. Doo doo. Doo doo. Do, 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 do. The last person. Thank you. Let's go. Oh, I got to take the dog bed. I thought we were going to leave the dog bed there then. Congrats for three years, Fern. Buxtonbury Review staff recognises their outstanding contributions. Our dear editor, Fern, ah, that's who he was talking about on the phone, has just reached a milestone. Three years writing for the review. Our paper was changed for the better when you arrived oh, on the scene for your internship, and since then we've been graced with such interesting insights into this little town of ours. Writing articles is hard. I don't know how you manage to do it every day, so hats off to you, Fern. Enjoy your surprise at the office this morning. Oh, well done, Fern. I want the supermarket sign. I don't have enough at the moment, but obviously we need books. Do we have classic? Maybe valuable. I mean, they're five, so let's buy these. Some classic in there. That's good. That's good. Inherited from my grandparents. Let's grab these. Mm, classic. Ooh, some more classic. Nice. And let's go for the vintage books. Yeah, we have quite a few of each now. Look, we have 64 crime books. Oh my goodness. Right, nothing else we can grab. So let's head to Rye Park, but I don't know what kind of books are popular at Rye Park. So I'm nervous. Um, crime. Classic. No, give me the small tiny books. Um, fantasy. There we go. What else shall we have? We can have travel here. Kids there. Drama. Um, drama. And then fact. Where do we want fact? Like that. 
I don't know. Oops, okay, there you go. That seems like a decent number. Park, Friday, summer 5th. Here we go. This is a very nice park. Do I see some gourds? Um, let's have a quick look around. If there's anything we can grab. Look at the scenery. Oh, the birdie. Oh no, I'm sorry, I made it fly away. That's not what I wanted. Got the gourds. <gasps> Pumpkins! Are you kidding me? More birdies. Oh, I love it here. That's so nice. Can I steal the pumpkin? Can I take some of the pumpkins? Dang, I would love that so much. <laughs> Please. Anything in the bin? I'm not against going through in the bin, you know, in case there's something in there. Oh, hello. Somebody coming in already? Don't mind me. Just having a look around. Drama book. Nice. More drama would be rad. Okay. So here, drama seems to be decently popular. Quite a few of you. We're getting a lot of the joggers in. It's nice that they come in here and get... Ooh, Anne. Wall and shop notable boost Ooh. to drama sale. Quick, I need a hand. Sickly fern. Oh. A plant fern. A rescued plant given over into your custody by someone who would rather go unnamed. This isn't fern who works at the... The newspaper right <laughs> and this was the um plant that they were given for working there and it's dying already maybe phew that was heavy uh -huh. look you've got to keep this all under wraps right mm. i know i just dropped a massive fern in front of you but it's technically not mine mm -hmm. i kind of you know stole it oh this is Anne, yeah Huh. I swear it was a rescue mission though. Ah. It fell victim to a first year at my uni doing some kind of lab experiment. Mm -hmm. So I couldn't exactly leave it there, right? No, I, I would <laughs> ah. steal it too. I'm sure it'll be in better hands with you if it's in perfectly with your whole cozy vibe. Mm. You also need a watering can to keep your new fern happy. Oh, wow. Here, take one of mine. I gotta run now. Cheers. Watering can, just one of mine because they have many watering cans apparently. Uh, why should you water your plants? Because you can. Aha, watering can. When I've activated boosts plant item effects. Okay. Thank you very much. I love the little fern. It's so cute. Could you use more classic? So classic and drama. We need more of, I think. Been looking for the lovely bones. I haven't read the book, but I've seen the movie. Very harrowing. Thank you. So many people buying things. Um, we're not making as much money as we did over at the cafe, but it's nice. That's why we are. I'm so glad we got the ramp access. Been looking for games people play. Thank you for buying. Do we give them these cute little tote bags? That would be nice if we gave people tote bags. Let's water my fern. Keep forgetting about the coffee machine. Oops. Can I steal any of these now? Now that it's night time and no one's around. No. <laughs> that would have been good. That would have been fantastic. Books and Bee Review. Uh, public garden still in disrepair. Oh, it's Klaus's concert tomorrow. Gardening enthusiasts are looking for volunteers. Last winter, a series of snowstorms had devastated vital parts of a beloved communal gardening project in Rye Park. Now, greenhouses are in desperate need of repair. After the presence of our new mobile bookshop had brought locals' attention back to the area, many members of the Books and Bee community have expressed the wish for a restoration effort. Aww. Led by students of St. Buxton University, the group is looking for local crafts people willing to volunteer their pre precious time uh, and resources to the much needed repairs. Oh, so thank you to me for the mobile bookshop bringing back locals' attention. <sighs> um, school manuals, stories for kids. Uh, I'm going to get the armchair. Oh, patchy. All the patchy. It's oh, so comfy. Boost to special effect characters. Okay, 16. Nothing else cheap. What can I do with the armchair? Do I put it inside? 
I was gonna say I feel like it would take up a lot of space. Um, I feel like that would go nicely there behind the table. Oh, I love it. And where shall we go today? We could go back to Rye, but with more stuff this time. So like more, what did they say they wanted? Drama and classic. Let's have a look. So let's do a whole row of crime. <laughs> Shh. Drama. Classic classic drama and then fact no fantasy what am i doing let's do drama classic crime and just put the kids next to the crime. Fact. And then in here we can have travel. Oops. What was on the bottom row? Was it? Oh no, I keep hovering too far along. Right, I'll get rid of all the bottom row. So we've got drama, classic, true crime, fact. Um, yeah, whole row of fantasy. Kids travel and then that way we've got some of everything right seems good enough i think people will maybe enjoy this selection <laughs> maybe click it's a bit ominous isn't it with the school outside like it's a nice chill little clo cozy bookstore and then just got a skull outside because why not why not i thought we'd have more true crime being sold because of the buffs i think here yeah people prefer drama and hey just pushed in that was very rude did you see that just pushed in front of the man in the wheelchair Hey, it's you. Oh, hi, Anne, and your bookshop. Ah. Sorry I was in such a rush last time, barely got a good look at it. Yeah. It looks lush together with my fern. Uh -huh. I mean, this unknown plant that I'm right now seeing for the very first time. <clears throat> hmm. So, welcome to Rye Park. Can I introduce you to our very own community garden over here? Hmm. As you can see, it's a bit abandoned after last year's snowstorms damaged the greenhouses. Hmm. We couldn't find anyone to repair them yet, but the plant has survived at least. Ah. And I want to bring some more colour to them. Oh, wow. I mean, how great would the Strobelanth's Diarina? Strobelanth's Diariana? Look <laughs> here. It's also called the Persian Shield. That's a lot easier to remember. Or Royal Purple Plant because it has pretty metallic purple stripes. Oh, wow. Do you like gardening? Tell me about your favourite plant. Um, a succulent. Yeah. Succulent. I like a succulent. Great choice. They make such good houseplants too. <laughs> good thing it's summer. Our winter climate might be a bit too cold and wet for them. Hmm. Thanks for indulging me. It's been so nice to mm -hmm. talk plants with you. I've been meaning to ask. Maybe we could relax together at the concerts. Yes, Yay. let's go. I'm so looking forward. Take care until then. I'm so happy we're making so many friends here. Look, it's so nice. I want to go and open a tiny bookstore now. <sighs> Money you made and lost today. Yeah. Hmm. What should we do? Well equipped plus one minus daily expenses. Ah, I hadn't been reading it properly. Do 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 do. Let's water the fern again. Thank you, everybody. Just out of reach. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I, again, I'm not making sure that people can read all of the, all of the reach all of the books on the shelves. I'm so sorry. They look so sad. Maybe they couldn't reach the book they wanted. Yeah, maybe that was them. 
Rye Park Metal Show tonight. The community bubbles with excitement ahead of very first local heavy metal concert. In anticipation of tonight's big concert, the review caught up with frontman Klaus to talk about the band's approach to music. Sometimes I struggle for the longest time to find a little inspiration, but then it hits me when I least expect it. Like even browsing books in that new bookshop brought me lots of neat ideas, explains the charismatic singer and guitarist. So let's go. £64. Um, used books. Nice and cheap. Um, World Atlas, Latin America, Stories for Kids, and School Manuals. I think we're okay for now. We're a bit low on fact. Oh, and classic again. Dang, we're low on classic. Let's go for the Latin America. One fact, 27 travel. Didn't know if it would maybe have classic in there. Dang. Right, I didn't buy anything new, did I? No. So, where do we want to go today? Right, how many books do I have? What was popular at Cafe Liberté again? Um, classic and crime. We don't have much classic, but we have a lot of crime. That I could be trying to shift. So crime, crime, classic, not even enough to fill the row. Um, let's have them, let's have them all here. People can reach. And then drama, travel. And then in here we can have fantasy, oops, keep doing that and kids nice we don't have any fact um just like that no i'm gonna put the classic back the fact there we go <laughs> to shove some some fact onto the end that guy's there again I feel bad. I just keep poking the birds all the time. I don't know if maybe it will unlock something eventually, you know? Or I'm just probably bugging them a lot. I wonder if this was a bookstore. Looks like some kind of antique shop. Oh, can I steal the weather vane? It's very cute. Classic, what a surprise. <laughs> classic. That it's classic. Come on, bye. Bye 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 bye. Bye 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 bye. Look at them all. There's so many. It feels nice being back at the cafe. This is like my favourite place at the moment. I love the aesthetic of it. Oh, wow. oh why you're here. Hey, great to see you. Ha. I'm impressed that Klaus is constantly drawing such a crowd. Ah. Metal isn't really my thing, but I'm happy for him and his groupies. Hmm. I also brought a little something for you. A succulent basket! Take care of it and it will be your best friend. Speaking of best friend, I think we just made one. Well equipped, tiny boost to travel sale chance. Okay, okay, well, I need that. Yeah. I got you your favorite plant. It will freshen up your shop even more. Ah. I wanted to do something nice for you since you did me such a big favour when we met. Ah. You did me a favour, you brought me a plant. I promise people will love it. Oh, wow. Anyway, I'll see you at the show. Cheers. Bye. I hope we arranged a time and place to meet. <laughs> Not just at the show, because I think that's going to be a bit hard to find you. Seems like there's going to be a lot of people. Look at them. So many. Oh, Mario. Special character. See, they got to come into my book, my bookstore, and now I want to go into their cafe. I want to try Cafe Liberté's coffee. Have we been cleaned out of books? No, not quite. I think quite a lot of crime got sold. Sorry if you can hear my dog barking in the background. <laughs> I think someone might be at the door. <laughs> 
Uh, they've just gone into Cafe Liberté. I want to. Welcome to Tiny Bookshop. Uh, thank you for trying out this demo for Tiny Bookshop. Sit back and watch customers visit you and look for books they may be interested in. Pay special attention to their looks. Could their outfits hint to their reading tastes? Do you know, I had noticed that the colours of their outfits, I think, yeah, maybe correlate with what they like. As you uncover new locations to set up shop in, special visitors will appear and prompt dialogue screens. Um, who scene, sorry. Who knows what niceties and goodies these interactions may bring. We hope you, you, you enjoy your first week in Buxtonbury. I wonder how the concert went. I want to know what happened at the concert. Right, so that's the end of the demo for Tiny Bookshop. I've loved this so much. It's so cosy. Which is exactly what we're looking for, exactly. But... It's been really, really enjoyable. I hope you've all enjoyed watching. So this was developed by the amazing Neil Ludic Games and published by Skystone Games. So feel free to go and wishlist Tiny Bookshop if you would like to give it a try yourself when it releases. You can wishlist it on Steam and don't forget to check all of the other games that are going to be shown on Cozy Quest from the 16th to the 20th of November. We're going to have so many games to show you and I reckon you're all really going to enjoy it but thank you so much for being here dog is barking again and I will see you very very soon take care of yourselves thank you go wishlist and goodbye everyone